are across the street. You're live for what? We're, we're live from Honolulu, Hawaii, right across the street from Iolani Palace, where there's a large gathering of uh, protectors of Mauna Kea uh, in a very um, recently called meeting. So there are a lot of people. There are hundreds of people. We'll go and take a take a look. Um, and uh, listen to some of the <clears throat> talk and some of the music, but let me uh, start over on this street where there's still there's some people with signs and whatnot. We'll go here first, and then we will walk across the street. <clears throat> Some people have been actually getting a lot of oh, what's it? Got a lot of people. I want to capture some of the honks. You guys have been getting good response, man. <laughs> Then we'll walk in front of the signs, we'll see uh, what they have. Uh, trying to capture some of the response they've been getting. Even from uh, bus drivers and, and tour buses. You can see uh, people crossing the street into the uh, toward the rally. That's what I call it, a rally, that's what it is. And that's uh, Iolani Palace, right there. We're, so we're right across the street. We're gonna enter the grounds in a little while. Let's see what's going on. Here comes a tour bus, you know? I think it's important for uh, the tourists to be educated about what the issue is. And I guess, uh, if you don't know, the issue is the, they're planning to build the 13th telescope on the uh, summit of Mauna Kea, um, an observation, uh, uh, astronomical observatory, which would be the 13th observatory on the mountain, on sacred land, on what's so-called ceded land, seized land, and uh, conservation land. And it's been like a observatory industry uh, bonanza up until now, uh, they required people to be disinterested and uh, not to know, but there's been a lot of education um, in the past few years. I'm an old timer, I know when uh, the issue of uh, issuing uh, one dollar per, per year leases uh, for Mauna Kea for ceded land was very common. It was a way of granting for the government to grant uh, let's let's run across the street I hear some stuff happening it's gonna be illegal thank you there we go Gathering is centered around the uh, bandstand. I forget what you call that uh, structure. Please don't be afraid. Olapa, we'll dance in front. 
We have He Tua here to present Pai Pai Lima Kato. That is the uh, palace in the background. You see a lot of people here. And the music and talk all day. You can come down if you can. It's going, going to go on. Hundreds of people here. These shirts uh, were sold out. There's a vendor. <laughs> uh, they sold out. We were we came here 20 minutes after the noon opening, and they were sold out, except for five XLs, which uh, are too big for me. <laughs> They're getting more. Gonna get have them in by Friday. EMT, too many telescopes. One of the great anthems written by uh, Liko Martin. We're actually expecting uh, Liko. Very grateful to be here today to support uh, 
Later on, uh, today. And he'll, he'll sing it too. I think he can be prevailed upon to sing it. Uh, there are Hawaiian language verses that this group didn't sing, and that's not on the uh, popular video uh, done by uh, Bishop Estate Kamehameha School. Yes, the song is in Hawaii Olelo. And we'll hear that when Liko come. I guarantee it. In fact, I will personally guarantee it. Kai Markel. Hey, how's it, brother? <laughs> nice hey, you are bringing it to the people. Yeah, I am. Yeah, you're live oh, on the internet. Oh. <laughs> okay. Kai Markel, a photographer, documenter of uh, rare distinction. Kai Markel. We are, if you just joined us, I know a couple of you have just joined us. We are at Iolani Palace. I'm going to pan around and I should get away from this generator, although it doesn't... Oh, it is running. That's a... That is a uh, quiet generator. We're on the grounds of uh, Iolani Palace where there is a rally, I don't know what to call it, a demonstration, a, not a protest. I would call it a rally in support of Mauna Kea, the mountain, to protect Mauna Kea. Um, a lot of people here, hundreds, I don't know, what would you, what would you, I'd estimate several hundred people, 500 people, what do you think? Really amazing. Really quite amazing. I'm kind of taking stills at the same time. This is going on all day. Till 6 o'clock, I mean till 6 o'clock at least is what I'm thinking. This rally was uh, called just uh, a few days ago and there are hundreds of people here because that's how, uh, how people feel about the issue. Not only in Hawaii, but worldwide, and not only uh, for Native Hawaiians, not only for Kanaka Maoli here, but for people like me, I'm not Kanaka Maoli, but as a social justice issue, land uh, theft issue. Let's go see uh, what's going on in that uh, canopy there. You know, it's funny we stay over here playing music at the, at the palace or something like this. We all gotta get together and gather to fight for what is right. It really makes sense. But, <laughs> It's good to see all of you folks, and I'm glad if, if, if anything come out of this, we all get together. From here on out, uh, for every other issue we get, we keep up this unity. Uh, keep it all together. That's the actual uh, palace there. Gazebo, that's what this is called. Okay. The stage is in the gazebo. There are some trees, there is some shade. Most people are in the sun. It's 
find out what's going on in this game. Oh, I see. This is like the hospitality tent for the entertainers. So, I'm gonna call them artists. I know in Hawaii we call musicians. Uh, kind of a tradition of calling musicians entertainers, but I like the term artist. No offense if uh, I'm just kind of walking around so people get an idea of uh, what's going on here. People should come, you should come down. I don't know if you're watching, you should come down. Now after this live stream is powered, it uh, allows you to play a recorded version. So. We're broadcasting live uh, Sunday, which is uh, Sunday at around 1.30 p.m. And this is going to be going on uh, all day till 6. Okay, I'm going to walk in the back. I'm going to do a final uh, walk around and you can see it's well organized got the uh, porta potties and the whole bit men women kids so bring the kids down these guys did the shirts Always finest clothing, HI finest, I think is the, you know what, get the website and then you can ask them, HIFinest.com, they're doing these shirts, the official shirts, so contact them, they're out of everything except 5XL, they sold out immediately. I don't know if anyone, uh, was anticipating this much interest. There's some uh, massages, lomi lomi going on here in this area that I just walked through without even knowing it. A lot of moms and dads and the kids, a lot of uh, familiar faces here, a lot of activists. Uh, not only um, Kanaka Maoli activists, but this unites all the social justice issues because it has to do with the treatment of people, culture, the misappropriation of land, theft of land, misuse of land, uh, ev everything. So, really good. Hey, here's Lancelot Highly Lincoln. You're live on the internet. How's it going, brother? Hey, how's it going, Doug? Nice seeing you nice and the flag. Yeah. <laughs> right. You oh, saw man. that. Yeah, you gotta teach me how to do that live. Yeah, I'll teach you anytime. We'll do. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> All right. Nice seeing you. See, a lot of the flags are upside down. Hawaiian flag upside down is a symbol of uh, distress. So that in itself uh, says something. We were just passed by and talked to uh, Lancelot Haile Lincoln, who's an activist, a Kanaka Maoli. And I always see him at hearings uh, when they pass, when they try and pass these laws criminalizing uh, homelessness. He's always at these hearings speaking out for the little guy, for the people that have nothing. So, you know, these social justice issues aren't just isolated in themselves. If, if you're a social justice advocate, activist in Hawaii, you're probably involved in this issue and you probably should be. So. 
So I'm gonna be signing out soon. And here's Kyle. He's, how's it going? You're live on the internet. <laughs> I just did a walk around to show everybody what was going on and to try and get them to come down. And I was also saying how this issue cuts across just the Kanaka Maoli thing, but that there were a lot of social justice issues, and that if you are a social justice advocate, then you would, you'd have to get involved in that. It's an environmental justice question for all the toxins and everything that the, the telescopes bring. It's a you know good government question because it. Um, UH has just mismanaged the mountain for all these years. And they've and gotten no used South, to, yeah. No one in Southern Macanabas, so the now, now they're claiming that, you know, because they've already des destroyed so much of the environment, it's just an incremental increase in that damage. Right. Which is like, if you were a tenant in somebody's house, you would <laughs> so get kicked out. You'd right? get kicked out, you'd There's be on no, the street. No way you would be given you know, that many chances. So, yeah, I think they forfeit their, their authority. Are you going to be saying anything today? No. No. <laughs>